kimataifa kwani kilimo ndicho kuboresha maisha ukitaka kujua haya usipime kipimo na ukikaa na siba si utaboresha kilimo utamaduni wa tishu ni ukuaji wa tishu au seli zilizojitenga kutokana na mimea mzazi Kundi la vijana katika eneo la Sotik, County ya Bomet, linavuna pakubwa na wanatoa makubwa kwa kukubali teknolojia hii. Wakulima wa ndizi katika County ya Bomet wamekumbatia mbinu tofauti hadi teknolojia na hata kupanda aina tofauti za ndizi kupanua wigo wa soko, kupanua pia wateja wawe wengi na kuongeza faida. Ndio maana tuko hapa Danai Abosi Ward eneo la Sotik County ya Bomet kukuletea makala haya. Ni Jumamosi nyingine marahaba tunakutana katika kipindi boresha kilimo. Hiki ni kipindi ambacho kinaangazia nyanja mbalimbali mbali za kilimo. Teknolojia ibuka hali kadhalika kilimo asili. Hii leo tunaangazia kilimo cha ndizi. Popote ulipo, ujambo na karibu. Mimi ni Laban Shaban. Cosmas Rono ni mmoja wa wakulima 30 ambao wako kwenye kundi cha Chepkalwal Visionary na yeye anakuza migomba zaidi ya 400 na amehakikisha kwamba ana aina tofauti tofauti ili aongeze pia faida na kutumika pia kama utafiti wa kuendeleza kilimo katika eneo hili. in 2006 na tumefanya mambo mengi na endelevu mengi kwa sias hiyo kaka kaka wa leo na tukija kwa sasa kwa mambo ya bananas tulichukulika na mambo ya mambo ya ndizi 20 20 tulipanda hii hii bananas on 17 June 2020 yote tuli tulianza sasa project yetu so kwa kikundi tuko na members tatu na kwa hiyo tatu kila mtu ali alipewa ndizi each each uh, 110 set uh, links uh, na kila mtu akaenda kwake kubanda kujibandia and sasa uh, with, within that program because we were in a program ya Kenya climate smart ya case up we were we, we benefited in two components component one ya kikundi tukapewa 60 seedlings each and then tukapewa another component tukapata 50 seedlings each hiyo sasa ilikuwa ya research research component hiyo watu wa kaldo sasa wali waliingilia sasa within the component ya research tuka tukaambiwa sasa tu, tutoe shamba point tatu so tukatoa sasa tukiwa familia mimi na na madam tukatoa point tatu tu, tufanye shamba ya mafunzo sasa tukatoa point tatu tukapewa sasa seedlings tukapanda sasa kila kila mtu kwa kundi yetu tulikuwa tunafanya darasa yetu hapa tuka tukaita sasa eh FFBS Hama Field Business School ndio tukafanya sasa tangu tul, everything tulifanya hapa kila mtu akaenda kwa kufanya yake from 17 June 2020 paka wa leo ndizi ya utamaduni wa tishu ama ukipenda TCB ni uvumbuzi wa kilimo wa kibayoteknolojia ambao umekubaliwa sana katika uzalishaji wa ndizi za kibiashara na inaendelea kusambaa katika kaunti ya Bomet
maisha ambayo yangu nao fikiwa na sasa tuli tulipanda tuli, tuli ile ya RBS na ye, na yetu sasa tukawa na 125 plans in total uh, and generally across the group we planted over 3000 bananas in our village so as we speak we have around 3000 bananas in our village we, we are market through our group kama moja ya ajira sekta ya kilimo nchini Kenya inahimiza wanarika kuja pamoja na kuanzisha miradi ya kujiendeleza kimaisha this one we have been adapting some of a form of seed multiplication by using suckers so we are uh, we use suckers and we we, we we take them to to some simple macro propagation which we were told in the program so we have been doing that for some three years now and whenever we produce less than 100 seedlings it is taken the market for seedlings is, is is high because people have realized now the value of bananas the market for ganges is high again as compared to so four years ago hapo awali mimea ya ndizi huwekwa kwenye kivuli asilimia hamsini na inapozidi kuwa ngumu kivuli upunguzwa polepole pole. Baada ya wiki sita mimea haihitaji kivuli chochote. Kwa kawaida, miezi miwili ya kitalu cha sekondari inatosha kabla ya mimea kupandwa kwenye mashimo ya shambani. You are trained on how to treat saka. Saka treatment fast locally by using uh, hot water treatment uh, putting water on, on a fire and heat it is with 5 degrees centigrade hot and then at that time you are you are you are to move your saka probably at the side of saka and you remove the the roots in the root system that is in the the comb and you place now in the in the in, in the fifth half the research as water to insert to stay there for at least 20 minutes by so doing you have eliminated pest and diseases that that may you that they may want in the in the comb so it it may not be under the yes, but it eliminates pest so after that we take now the, the comb to a, 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 a prepared place which is clean raised from the from the floor and we prepare now the macroregulation procedure which will which will give up to 20 15 to 20 suckers by one sack from there we remove the the plantlets which are that much after three months we we we, we put it in the box we 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 take to attending nurseries after two months Aina ya teknolojia hii hutumia sehemu za mimea kuzalisha nakala nyingi za mimea kwa muda mfupi sana. Mbinu hiyo inatumia mali ya topotensi ya seli ya mimea ambayo ina maana kuwa seli yoyote kutoka sehemu yoyote ya mimea inaweza kutumika kuzalisha mmea mpya kabisa. Similar, but it is not. 
it is not as sterile as that and the procedures are almost the same but the, the other one in the lab first of all the the blending material we are using is the tissue culture banana we were given from the lab so the the traits we are passing on are that, that same traits of the tissue culture banana so it's only that we are multiplying so that we discourage suckers the, the, the removal of suckers as it is Minu hii inaruhusu uzalishaji wa mimea mingi tambulishi pia inayojulikana kwa jina la koloni kutoka kwa mmea mzazi mmoja. Faida kuu ya utamaduni wa tishu ni kwamba husaidia kushinda vikomo vya njia za kila uenezaji kama vile kiwango cha ukuaji wa polerefu, msimu na viwango vya mafanikio nchini. to handle the banana. We had never even landed even one banana because we were, we were youths. So we decided that we will go to the, into this enterprise. We know it is new. We will, and we were being told there is no market for this Ukali bananas. But we decided to take this risk and our Nabu build. Kadri teknolojia inapoendelea kubuni mbinu za utamaduni wa tissue culture ufanisi hupatikana zaidi. Hii itasaidia zaidi kilimo endelevu na kuhakikisha utengenezaji wa mimea ya sayari yetu kwa ajili ya vizazi vijavyo. Dalali ya galabu wamekuwa hatari sana kwa kupunguza faida ya wakulima. Hawa mabroka wanakuwa hatari manake, wanatia bidii sana hawa wakulima lakini faida inakuwa kidogo. Je, Cosmas na wenzake wanafanyaje ili kuhakikisha kwamba faida yao ni maradufu na iko katika kikomo cha hali ya juu? Unaendelea kutazama boresha kilimo kipindi ambacho tunaamini kitastawisha kilimo humu nchini. Kwa sasa nachukua pumziko fupi. Tutarejea na mengi zaidi usiondoke hapo lipo. Wameamua kukumbatia mbinu ya kuhakikisha miche ambayo wanapanda haisambazi magonjwa hadi katika mashamba mengine. Ndio maana wamekumbatia mbinu hiyo ya kiteknolojia kuhakikisha kwamba hata kama utakuwa na shamba jingine ambalo limetegemea miche kutoka shamba hili basi mimea yako itakuwa inanawiri. Karibu katika sehemu ya pili ya kipindi boresha kilimo ambapo tunaangazia upanzi wa ndizi. Popote ulipo, endapo una maswali, hisia, mapendekezo ama wewe ni mkulima pia unataka sisi tukutangaze. Tutafute kwenye mitandao ya kijamii at KUTV Kenya. Nifikie mimi at Laban Shaban, weka reli boresha kilimo. Katika uenezaji wa mimea ni mbinu ubunifu na yenye ufanisi ambayo imefanya mabadiliko namna ya mimea inayotengenezwa na kuzidishwa. Kutoa manufaa nyingi kama utengenezaji wa haraka, mimea isiyo na magonjwa na urembo. 
matokeo yake utamaduni wa tishu umekuwa chombo muhimu katika kilimo cha biashara kilimo cha bustani na hifadhi ulimwenguni After a while, after 12, 18 months, is when we harvested our, our first, our first fields from our, across our, our farms, and we we realized that we had we had achieved. At first, there were challenges in the market because the, the miners were many, but over over time. People are, have come to, to know these farms, they, so they, they, they come, we give the bananas. So as we speak about marketing, there is no challenge of marketing for bananas. It, it, it is even not enough for the, for, for the market. Because for me, <coughs> I, I ride, I ride at home. Or even in chamber. When they are excess, I cut them in bunches. Ndizi daima uvuno kwa mikono kwa kutumia timu ya watu wawili. Mtu mmoja anakata na mwingine anabeba bundi. Wakati wa kukata makundi, kiti cha msalaba hutumika pamoja na kisu na pia msumeno hutumiwa kukata kifungu kutoka kwenye shina. Challenge now, which is facing us in the bio, is the mode of aggregation, aggregating this the, the, the bananas to some point for marketing. Because you find uh, other farmers are in Konoi, very far place, others are in Pometist, and and may, they they may not be as many as this may not be having as many as bananas as we have in Jebkalwa. So we were in some advanced stages in planning to, to aggregate within the night, within Jebkalwa, where many bananas are now. So, so we are, uh, as, I, as I say it in that overview, we are approaching our banana, banana value chain in two in two ways, through our CIG, which is the Development of Youth Group, which we, start, which we started by planning, and through our PO, which is Bombay Banana Core Resort. Kata mkono wa ndizi ni utaratibu wa lazima kabla ya kuivisha ndizi ili kuepuka kuoza kusafisha udongo na pia kuhakikisha magonjwa yanaoshwa The market is I can say market is free it can change by itself can change by forces you adjust to but our case when we started, the bunch used to sell at 250 shillings. But at first, there were some traders who were coming for the bananas and they wanted to buy in pieces. So that when you, you will find that they are taking it at around 150. But we decided in our farm that we will set the price as the farm. <coughs> So, for, for, for our, our big bunch, we, 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 we decided to sell by at 1,000 in our farm because it, it is big, up to 60 kilos in this grand mine and Williams. And with time, people adjusted. 
number two, because I, we, we, we are, we are rivaling. We rival and sell in wholesale to retail customers, banana customers. So we, we, we will find that when we sell in retail, or no, in the wholesale, we always find we are selling a buy up from 1,200 to 1,200 a big bunch in our farm. But, but out, outside there, it is not friendly. It is still not friendly to the farmers because of brokers. When brokers come to this farm, I always like because I have I have developed a relationship between me and direct sellers at the market place here in Narok who have been coming with the bananas. But many farmers are suffering because of those brokers. Kia hapo tumefika mwisho wa kipindi cha leo boresha kilimo. Mwisho wa kipindi cha leo ni mwanzo wa kipindi kijacho. Hadi Jumamosi ijayo kwa mitindo mingine ya kilimo. Nimekuwa wako Laban Shaban. Masalamu.